<laughs> Not sure what this is about. I just had this urge to shave a mustache. What do you guys think? No, yes, yes, no. Um, really, I just wanted to show off my new lens. I got this like $16 wide angle lens for my little Kodak ZI8. And it's pretty neat. Let me show you what happens when we take off the wide angle lens. Oh my gosh. Now it's like a close up of my face. Now we're good again. Pretty neat, huh? Like, there's the wide angle and no wide angle. Pretty stinking cool. If I do say so myself. And I do, because I did. I can take the wide angle lens part off the top and it becomes like a super macro lens. It's pretty crazy. I shall show you some footage from that here shortly as well. Might even do like a sweet close up of the stash. I know you want to see that. Yeah. A redneck Bigfoot hat. What's up, guys? Just blogging here. <laughs> What's up? I don't know what that is. Got a new endeavor recently. A harmonica. Don't want to play it too loud right now. My mom is sleeping. Just thought I'd show you though. This is actually kind of a cheapo one I bought. It's a little $9 honer called the American Ace. Here we are guys. I am going to give you a little demo of this sweet macro lens. Well, it's the wide angle lens that I bought for the for this camera, but if you take the wide angle lens, it can unscrew the top piece and it becomes a macro lens. First of all, let me show you the regular macro setting on this camera and we'll we'll compare and it's a huge leap in the macro uh realm for this camera. So here we go. I don't know if you've seen the new penny, but they're printing a new penny now, and I'm going to use that as my demo. You're probably not going to be able to see it very well with the regular macro on this camera. Here we are. This is still in the, um, I guess, landscape mode, you would call it. Let me flip it on macro. And... We're losing focus about then. That's about that's about as good as I about as close as I can get without losing focus. Get any closer and we lose focus. Then we put this macro lens on and you're gonna be blown away. Obviously can't see a dang thing from far away get up in here though and holy cow look at that sorry being a bit shaky that's crazy you can see the nicks on the edge of the penny the depth of field is very shallow like you go too far back or too close and you lose focus but when you are in focus it is pretty amazing. So here's my my Mac keyboard. I can't even get far enough back to like see one key. Oh, apparently I have a hair on that. That's crazy. Look at that hair. Wow. There's the root, I think. That's nuts. Yes, I'm balding, so I get hair all over my computer, 
or my keyboard. Well, pretty much everywhere. Because that's what happens when you bald. When you're. That's what happens when you're balding. You lose hair. Sucks. Anyways. That about covers it for my demo. I was going to do a close up of the harmonica too, but. You get the picture. Here's my one harmonica case. The American Ace by Honer. Then we go over here and I think I'm still in the macro setting. Oops. My special 20. Cannot get this off. <sighs> get off. Okay, I got it. Get out of there. Okay. Now, was that shaky enough for you? <laughs> here is the other one. It looks a lot like the looks a lot like the other American Ace. This is a special twenty. Supposedly just an all around good harmonica. Recommended for beginners, but even pros play it, so it's pretty neat. And I also have another really old harmonica that I got when I was probably 10. I bought it new when I was 10. But it's by a brand called Huang. Guessing that's Japanese. Star Performer. I kind of like the form of this one better. Looks like it would fit in the hand better. But it's in the key of D. And apparently that's not a very common, well, it's common, I guess, but it's recommended that you start with a C if you're a beginner, because most um, tutorials and stuff are written in the key of C. And so that's why I got the new harmonicas. Plus this one's missing, or has a couple holes that don't produce sound anymore, so that's kind of not good. Anyways, I got work in the AM, so I'm gonna go to bed. Okay, I forgot I had it on macro, so I probably look better from here, even though it's very close. Oh, I didn't go, I didn't do macro of the stash. Let me try this again. Whoa. This is my mustache. Don't confuse it with anything else ever. <laughs> this is probably creepy. So, quick update. Um, lots of stuff happening right now. Well, not, well, I don't even know what I'm saying, okay? Um, just wanted to say I joined the gym here in at the university, so I'm been, I worked out there two days in a row, and I ran the day before that, so three days in a row working out. Then I got some exciting news. Check it. Got my someone still loves you, Boris Yeltsin vinyl in, and it's pretty sweet. I almost don't want to open it, but I am going to right here on camera because it's the peach vinyl, and as much as I want to keep it kind of pristine like this I still want to see that peach vinyl even though I don't even have a record player so I can't play it at all but I got the digital download so that's all I really need but it came with these sweet posters I always loved this painting pretty sweet and also this poster whoops which is the new one for this album let it sway whoa pretty neat and came with airheads that's cool gonna be getting that later and a sweet Boris Yeltsin sticker so it also came with a button but I already put it in my car um, maybe I'll show it some some other time I'm opening this baby up so we can check it out 
Let's see what this peach vinyl looks like. All right, one step closer. Wow. And here it is. Oh my gosh. Check that out. Now I was actually thinking almost a bit more pinkish but it actually has some texture to it. I don't know if you can see that. Pretty neat though. Not texture, I guess. Obviously it has texture because that's how the sound is played by the needle on the... Okay. Yeah. Anyways, I meant texture and the actual colors, you know. That's what I meant. But there you have it. Boris Yeltsin. Peach Vinyl. Let it sway. Check these guys out. They're really great. Um, I'll put links in the pants bar. Links in the sink. I kind of like that one too, though. So, peace. All right, <laughs> back in the car now. I'm gonna show you the uh, "Someone Still Loves You" Boris Yeltsin. Um, what's it called? What's it called? Button, button, or badge, as the Australians would say. But here it is. Let's put you on. Okay, come on, there it is. Nope, oh, that's Tonka. There it is. Someone still loves you, Boris Yeltsin, I promise. Okay. Yeah. So it's kind of hot in here, so I need to get some airflow. I mean, the banana. Yes. You may notice, I do still have the mustache. And I had it at work today. I'm not sure how it went over. Lots of laughs, that's for sure. I got lots of jokes, as in Lieutenant Dangle, Kip from Napoleon Dynamite. Who else? There's another one. Can't remember. Maybe one of you will remember or comment if you already did on my Facebook. Um, working out in the last couple days has left me pretty sore. Um, I don't remember if I've said, but I haven't worked out like on a regular basis anyways, probably since high school. That was six years ago. So, uh oh, light's about to change. This is gonna get tricky. Um, anyways, yeah. I haven't worked out on a regular basis since high school, so. I've probably done three days in a row before, but I've, the last two days have been pretty intense, so. They've left me pretty sore, that's why I was eating banana earlier. But, that obviously means getting a good workout in, right? I've been trying to stretch, but I suck at stretching. So, yeah. <laughs> I, don't, I really don't even know what I'm saying right now. Is that creepy? Yeah.